Let's connect our business email or our custom domain that we have a website with to our Gmail account for free. It's really easy to do if you have a SiteGround account. You get unlimited email accounts with a SiteGround account. The only problem is, is that the emails show up in a webmail interface and we want to send and receive them from our Gmail app. So under SiteGround with your domain, with your website tools, go to the email accounts and we are going to uh, either create a new email since you have unlimited or I have one here. Going to hit the three dots, click mail configuration, manual settings. This is what you'll need to set this up. Copy the email address. Next, I'm going to go to that Gmail account that I want to connect. Go to the gear at the top right. See all settings. Accounts and import tab. Now there are two steps. We want to be able to send and we want to be able to receive. So we'll do both steps. First, let's send. So click uh, add another one and then paste it in. I'm going to leave this checked so that I can um, get send both types in the actual Gmail app. Click next. Click next. Okay, next we need to look at that outgoing server, which is the same as the incoming server. And then the SMTP port is 465. So we paste that in. 465. We need the username is the entire email address. Not just the front end, but also the domain. Password, um, I don't know what it is. So I'll just change the password real quick. Copy it. Okay, paste it in, add the account using the SSL recommended. Okay. Now it's going to send a verify. So I need to go check that webmail. So I go back to my site ground email, log into webmail. And here's the confirmation. So go ahead and click that link. And then it says, please confirm. So I'm going to hit the button and confirm it. Okay, good. Confirmation success. All right, so now I can do that. And now I need to set up the checking the, the, checking the mail step. So we'll go ahead and add an email account. Well, first let me look at the mail configuration settings again. Copy the mail, the email. Okay, here we go. So we'll go back to our Gmail settings, add a mail account under check mail, and then paste it in. This time we only have one option, the pop three import emails next. Gonna paste in the email again, password, don't know what it is again, so I'm gonna create another one. So, change the password again. Okay. Where's the window? Okay, put in the password for that email. Now we have the correct pop server. We just need the right port. What was the, what were the settings for that? Yeah, go back to the mail configuration. Okay. Pop three port nine, nine, five. So make sure that matches up. We're going to leave a copy on the web mail on the uh, web server, SiteGround server. Always connect SSL and label incoming messages. So you can choose to label them so that you have on the sidebar, they'll, you could filter them that way. Add the account. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. Now you'll see 
um, under your Gmail settings. It's checking email right now. So I'm going to go ahead and send a quick email to that email address to that site ground my business email that I just did call it test this is from a different uh, gmail account subject test okay I sent that now I don't know if it's gonna connect right away you can see it's checking the mail right now so it's kind of trying to populate that right now. Uh, you see it's com confirmed that you can now send it, but I haven't received it yet. So let's, you can always go to this gear in the top right, see all settings, and see under the accounts and import. Um, you can see it, it's checked it, and it didn't come in, so I'll say check now. And it'll check that right now. Also take note that this one that I'm sending from, you can make it the default one, or you can um, leave the other one as the default, and then you go ahead and um, it will, right here, it says reply from the default address, or reply from the same address that the message was sent to. So you probably want this one, because if someone sends an email to your business address, you probably want to reply as that business address. So that's just something to be aware of. Now I go to my inbox and yeah, sure enough, there it is right there, it came in. You can see the labels that it's labeling them in the Gmail account. And then over here on the left side under labels, you can filter to just only those emails. So that would be only your business emails. But anyway, uh, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, let the algorithm know, and I will see you next time.